Hello and welcome back. My name is Sylvia. I'm an artist, designer, and a permaculture enthusiast, among other things. And in this video, I'd like to share with you some jelly printing process that I made, especially portraiture, because you know I really enjoy portraiture. If you're not familiar with jelly printing, uh, it's a mono printing type of tool, so to speak. It's a non-toxic uh, synthetic gelatin and you can make prints with it and it's a lot of fun. I have tried doing many things with it before but never directly painting on it so I decided to record and share with you the process. It's really really fun. It took me a moment to learn the materials and like the pressure that you need to put in or how much uh, acrylic I'm using acrylic with this particular moment um, how much acrylic to use how many layers uh, you can take it takes several practices um, to kind of get it together I made several prints but essentially I actually came back to the very first one that I thought I'm just gonna use you know as a scrap but there's something interesting that came out of it and I deci decided to just kind of you know follow the rabbit hole so to speak and I was super pleased with the results an interesting thing also I'd like to mention that as a result of you know making this piece I had this epiphany you hear me talk about epiphanies while making art all the time because as you know making art is in a way a conversation with our own souls so I have been making these kind of portraits uh, these particular ones have no reference I'm just kind of freestyling and this is the final product with this one and I thought about how I'm just making the same face over and over but then it occurred to me that this can become my series that I have been wanting to make for forever. So I'm planning on embark on that journey and call them Portraits from the Ether. And I will definitely be making a video about that. Anyways, in this second different method that I tried, I've used watercolor pencil on top of some acrylic which made it very slippery for the lack of a better word and a lot of my markers especially the water soluble ones did not work however happy accidents i really enjoyed this kind of misty smudgy look and i kept layering different materials like pencils which have wax on them and kind of stuck better and also acrylic markers which definitely worked much better than the other water soluble markers and I really enjoyed the process and also really like the results of this one it definitely gives it the mood I had a series of some interesting synchronicity while making this video and essentially had me thinking about how we as human beings are constantly evolving and becoming and it started with this video uh, with this interview, I should say, uh, with Ewelina Stęknicka. She's a Polish content creator who calls herself a friend on the journey of self-discovery and calls us all a miracle. Anyways, she was sharing how over and over again she found herself dealing with the similar you know, emotional issues, even though she thought she worked through them. And that resonated with me so much because just like I kept thinking that I'm drawing these faces the same way you know over and over I can remember many times where I felt like oh I've dealt with this before and it came up yet again I need to pause my deep thought ranting to share with you my favorite one uh, or my favorite technique that I try I should say and this is charcoal print First I made a quick charcoal sketch, then I pressed it onto the jelly print, then I coated it with some acrylic paint and then 
I took it off the final results are really my favorite I will definitely try this technique again and here we are everything stuck beautifully nothing is rubbing off as you know charcoal to be very messy um, there is just something about it and I absolutely love it this was my favorite one and I will definitely try this in the future but I do want to share with you back to the renting a literally when I was preparing to record the audio for this video I read this in the morning in the process of being you are at all times engaged in the endless cycle of repetition and renewal the past is not this present and yet this moment is forever moving into the past your strength comes from understanding the timelessness of process process is forever this knowledge is your power this knowledge becomes your bliss. These words come from Pamela E. Kings and um, from her book, Terror of the Spirit. And isn't that the perfect few sentences that described what I wanted to say and what I was feeling while making these portraits and just in general, you know? I see this happening in nature all the time, in the garden, in the food forest. Not Everything is changing. Everything is in a process. There are seasons. There are just constantly something is happening. And I don't know why our human ego thinks something's supposed to be still and fixed and, you know, steady learning to love the process accepting the process all of it you know good and bad and having art as a constant companion into self-discovery i think it's where it's at i hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time